To the average motorist, a railroad crossing is an occasional railroad crossing. A railroad crossing is an occasional occasion. Is an is an is an is an is an a railroad. But to the engineer, the man with his hand on the hand, crossings are a source of source. And every time he takes the train out, he can expect one or two near misses. Misses. Close calls for someone who drives across the tracks and should. Sometimes, just a little. I must. Don't you ever grab the thought that I am from myself? It's no wonder that the typical engineer is so often the typical engineer. It's no wonder that the typical engineer is so. He sometimes prays a little when he sees a school bus approaching. But it's surprising how often school bus drivers forget. However, it's the tank truck driver loaded with inflammables who fails. He knows that few truck drivers and few engineers survive such fiery fire. But whether his own safety is threatened or not, an engineer dreads all. Whether who are the motorists who get into trouble at crossings? First, there's Mr. Hurst. Drives a little too fast for. Offers Gerbzi BMO. And there are those follow the leader motorists who blindly follow other gamblers like sheep. That strong follow the leader instinct can lead to disaster and still another crossing situation. Too often, thoughtless drivers let themselves get trapped. Boxed in by traffic ahead of them, and by traffic down, and by traffic down, and by traffic down. Make it a rule never to drive onto the track until you can drive all the way across. Though the engineer sees you, remember his train is big. Clear the track in the direction from which the train is approaching to avoid being hit by flying wreckage. All too common is the driver who waits for a train to pass, then the instant the last car goes by, shoots across to be struck by a truck. Act. Don't cross until you can see well down the track in both directions. And not until the warning signal has stopped. And now one final word of advice. Look in both directions, and if a train is coming, take chances. It's tricky to judge the speed of an object coming straight at you. It's probably moving. Crossing at such a time is pretty much like playing Russian roulette. Sure, you'll win most of the time, but what have you won? A minute or two of time. But if you should lose, well, is it really worth the gamble? Who